realize that I can find her in almost every book in the Bible. She's everywhere. I have met people who claimed to be Satanists, who claimed to be involved with black magic. churches of today don't preach the Bible. Essentially what you're talking about is occult. Occult is a certain technology that you can use your energies to create certain impact. a mist that was coming off the water and I went to the throne of God and I didn't see God's face clearly but I saw the face of God Ezekiel, Hosea, I mean all of these guys, Isaiah, all these guys are dealing with her. major problem in the New Testament, but nobody preaches on her. I've certainly haven't been involved and I warn all of you, never, never, never. You will not only lose your mind, you lose your soul. You lose your soul. because every one of these religions is rooted in Mystery Babylon. When it calls her the mother of the harlot, mm -hmm. of, uh, it calls her this, of all of these harlots, a lot of people believe, well, that's the Protestant churches that, uh, that in the 15 and 16, 1700s, that pulled out of the Catholic church. Uh, we call them, protest today they're called mainline churches. Um, they say that the Catholic church is the mother of harlots and they're the harlot religions that's not what it's talking about because when john wrote that book uh, uh revelation it'll not be another 200 years before that system ever developed yeah so th this system predates catholicism oh, yes. massively is a woman representing wickedness in that basket being carried back to Shinar. I can't remember a time where I've ever been this blown away by something I've studied. She's buying the stairway. 
almost everything is about her. I can't believe it. And we're going to show you who she is. <laughs> 